So it's a beautiful day, at least here in uh, Paddington. The bank holiday has begun, the sun is shining, preparations are taking place for the Notting Hill Carnival and millions of families are preparing for the new school term. It's hard to believe on a day like this we're about to face a winter of misery. We know the news. The energy price gap is rising. Our bills are set to skyrocket. At the same time, the cost of everything else is rising, isn't it? From food to rents, haircuts to mortgage payments. It's going to be one hell of a squeeze. And not just for those at the bottom. For ordinary, hard-working people up and down the country, family with families with mortgages, those who budget, who save, who try to do the right thing, they risk being ignored. At the same time, the cost of everything else is rising. As I said before, it's foods, it's rent, it's haircuts, it's mortgage payment. It's going to be a big squeeze for all of us. And there we go. We're going on and on. Our auto cue is messed up, but we're going to move on. What I'm trying to say is that we're not just talking about those. We're not just talking about the rich who will be hit by this. We're not just talk. Sorry, we're not just talking about the poor who are going to be hit by this. For ordinary, hardworking people up and down the country, those who do the right thing, they risk being ignored by the government. I'm not talking about those at the top who may have to give up. Their third holiday of the year to Florence or the French Alps. I'm talking about those on decent wages, those who will be unable to balance their budgets. Some are saying now that the squeeze could be worse than the 70s. France is preparing its citizens for a total cutoff of Russian gas. They're warning that public lights may have to be switched off at night. Germany has set out plans to limit the use of lighting and heating in public buildings. Meanwhile, our country seemingly is stuck in a state of limbo. We're waiting for the Conservative Party to finally elect a leader. Of course, some of us warned that ousting a prime minister at a time of crisis was probably not the best course of action. Now the very same people who worked so hard to oust him are the same ones complaining that no action is being taken. But here we are. I can't complain now. We can't turn back the clock. It would be wrong to say the government is doing nothing. The government is shelling out the cash. £400 is going to all bill payers. Households on means-tested benefits and pensioners could receive up to £1,200. Small and medium-sized businesses, however, which employ 60% of us, may face closure without support. That's what we're being warned. Both Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have suggested they will not only cut taxes on energy bills, but they'll increase support for those who most need it. The focus of our political establishment is now understandably on those who need the help most. But I need to think we need to start thinking about the squeezed middle. The middle earners, those who go to work, who see their pay slips slashed in half by the HMRC, who do the best by their children. Nadim Sahawi, the Chancellor, to his credit, has at least given those people a mention. He's acknowledged that people earning around £45,000 a year will struggle too. I bet his horses are shivering at the prospect of a cold winter. These are the people, the majority of the country, whose disposable income will take a mega hit. The people who keep our economy going. If you're rich, you'll be able to pay. If you're poor, you'll be receiving considerable payments from the state. To the next Prime Minister, I say, ignore the middle at your peril. At the very least, with Labour 14 points ahead in some of the polls, your votes depend on it.